I'm Ms. Bowman, fourth grade teacher at Los Cass Elementary, and I'm excited to talk about um, a STEAM project that my fourth graders were able to complete that was um, very exciting. It was a learning process for me as well as it was for them. Um, I created the project and called it um, Circuit Bugs, and what I incorporated was science, technology, um, engineering, the arts with language arts, and some math. And so that was a win-win all the way around. It really stretched the kids' thinking and it stretched my thinking greatly beyond what I'd ever done with fourth graders before. Went into our science with our fourth grade standards, which they have to be able to construct a um, simple circuit. So we took the concept of bugs and um, we used clothespins, LED lights, and um, copper tape, and we wired um, insects that actually their eyes lit up. So that involved our science standards. And then I wanted to go the next step up and we incorporated technology. We used a um, wonderful program that was called Tinkercad. Um, I had not had any experience prior. I was grateful for our tech man Cody to come down and he introduced the concept of drawing on the computer um, and getting proportion, size, all those things. And they were to create their own insect that would be printed on a 3D printer. So, and it took several days with the Tinkercad program, getting how to place shapes, um, how to move them around, especially the joining process, so that they would have good seams um, that that came out. They were so excited about it. They, um, after that first day, some of them right off that night went on home and continued the design process at home on their Chromebooks. They signed up when they were ready to print. Um, Cody took them down in small groups um, to go over their designs and look at them in preparation to printing. And you know what? Any good project involves flops. Our first ones out, some of them the kids learned their joining was not good on the Tinkercad program. But that was brainstorming, going back, thinking about what went wrong. And the exciting part was at the end of the project, all 24 kids had printed their own 3D insect um, as the wrap-up project for Circuit Bugs. So it was exciting. Um, I'd love to continue on and use Tinkercad more with my students and incorporate the arts and um, with that math and technology. Um, it was a complete package and I think the kids will be impacted forever by it. And I am so grateful for the MAC lab that made that possible, the supplies that we were able to, the sheets that went into the printer, and for those printers, because my kids could never have designed and learned this at an early age, that this is possibly a future career they might be interested in. Thank you so much, NMAC, for providing our students with such forward-thinking technology to help our students get ready for those 21st century jobs.